announcement that he has made. This is the words of Rob Chudzinski. I was shocked and disappointed to hear the news that I was fired. I am a Cleveland Brown to the core and will always be. It was an honor to lead our players and coaches, and I appreciate their dedication and sacrifice. I was more excited than ever for this team. As I know, we were building a great foundation for future success. While clearly I would have liked to see the long-term version through to the end, I am very grateful to Jimmy Haslam and the Haslam family for letting me live my dream. The words of Rob Chudzinski, fired coach of the Cleveland Browns. Well, let's bring in uh, Reggie Rucker right now, our Browns analyst. You've been on the football field catching passes some years ago, uh, and, and now you're looking at it from this end. What are your thoughts about this? Were you surprised? Uh, I wasn't really surprised, and it's a good thing he wrote that this morning rather than last night, probably. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? Yeah. But he has to say that, Leon, if he yeah. ever wants to work again in the National Football League. Let's be honest about it. This is a young coach who is going to get another job. He may not get a head coach job anytime yeah. soon, but he will get another job. Were you surprised he got fired? Uh, no, because uh, the difference uh, that I between last year and, uh, and this year was one of... Uh, regression. The football team did not improve, and particularly the last nine or ten games, there was a full-scale collapse in so many areas. And I think, Leon, the, the, the last two weeks were very telling. When Browns owner Jimmy Haslam left the New York Jet game early. Yeah. Now, in that New York Jet game, there was a receiver by the name of David Nelson who caught two touchdown passes. The same David Nelson who was in training camp with us, and we cut and we need receivers, and yet we cut a guy that beat us. In so New you York. think this, the, the, the die was cast some time ago? Yes, I think there's too many instances where there were mistakes in terms of the head coach making decisions on players that ultimately uh, the Browns felt could play but were released, and those were all on uh, Rob Chizinski. I've got about a minute remaining with you. What about the, 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 the quarterback thing? Was that, was that all part of it? Uh, fans didn't want Whedon, but Whedon kept going in there. Was, is this a piece of it, too? Well, uh, good, good, good question, Leon. And when you're uh, an owner, uh, you, you, you know, it's a gold rule. He who has the gold makes the rule. Yeah. So the only person you really have to please is that owner. And those general managers and presidents and all those guys can say what they want. But it's that owner who's sitting there who's saying, now, wait a minute. I can see that Whedon is the third best player at quarterback for the Cleveland Browns, and yet you had him rated number one. So, so the, that That's might a have problem. Been, I've got 15 seconds remaining with you, Reggie, and you can stick with me on this one. Now, can we bounce back? Can this team bounce back? Yes, we can, because we are poised, Leon, to do some very, very big things in the upcoming draft with a guy by the name of Teddy Bridgewater. Now, you want Teddy Bridgewater. <laughs> you want that quarterback. Yes, I do. And if, if, he's at, if he's taking the snap, we're okay. I think if we get that quarterback, then many of these problems that we're having will be passed. Okay. Reggie Rucker, number 33 himself, telling us how it is. <laughs>